Hello, good evening. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a embedded curtain wall window. Actually, it's a wall, but you can use them as window in Revit model. So I'm going to be showing you today. So here you can see I have created these windows with the curtain wall. If you select, you can see here in the property, it is actually a curtain wall and you can model curtain wall as window in Revit. I'm going to be showing you that today. So here, let me draw a wall. Okay, so here I'm going to draw a small wall. Architecture wall. Let's select a brick wall, 215, yes. Let's keep the 3D view open. Let's go to view, close inactive, go to 3D. Okay, this is our wall, go to WT. So I have the plan, I have the 3D. Let's take this wall in a side. Let's see, let's take this in a side, okay. So this is our wall, let's see and that's coming from base constraint level 0 to top constraint level 1 so it's my brick wall and in case if i draw a wall a curtain wall let's take architecture wall and take exterior glassing and if i draw the curtain wall inside the brick wall you can see here it is cutting the brick wall so that is how you can adjust and you can keep that as a window so I'm going to be showing you what is the concept here so you can see in case if we take the curtain wall and I have the curtain wall named as auto embed not active so I'm going to show you what is that if I draw that wall, you can see here, this wall is not actually cutting the brick wall. So what's happening, when I select the wall, and if I go to edit type, and here you can see, under construction, you can see automatically embed, there is an option. It's a built-in parameter, and when checked, the curtain wall will create a void in another wall placed in the same position. So, so you can see what will happen if I check this box and I'm going to say OK and you can see this is actually cutting the brick wall. So that's the concept. Once it is checked and the wall is cut, in case if we go to edit type and if you uncheck and if you say OK, you can see so this is not going back to the previous stage because once the wall is cut it is cut so all the settings will be applicable for the future model so th with the same option i have created all these windows i hope you like this option in revit that's all for the day thank you bye bye